And so 43 million Americans have student loan debt. They've had a break from making payments for the last three years because of the pandemic, but interest began accruing again as of September 1st, and those payments, they'll be due October. Dion Williams is president of Piedmont Advantage Credit Union and is joining us this morning with some important advice. So, Dion, a lot of people may have just ignored the student loan debt. They've been able to a little bit. It might be a good idea first for people to take a look at simply how much they owe, right? Absolutely. You'd want to go check your balance with your servicer because it's it's been since March 2020 mm -hmm. that the uh, interest has not been accruing, that payments have not been due, and perhaps you bought a car or there's other things that's changed in your life. Maybe your income's more, maybe your income's less. But with all of those things in consideration, yes, know what you owe and have a plan because those uh, that interest, as you said, started accruing in, or started uh, accruing in September and payments due in October. So let's say you do go online and check that with your loan servicer and go, mm -hmm. oh goodness, I did maybe purchase an expensive vehicle. Mm -hmm. I have made changes in my life and I can't pay this. What should you do then? Okay. Communication is everything. And that's the thing is uh, it's not going to go away if you ignore it. So be sure to contact your servicer because there are income uh, adjusted repayment plans that can be made. There may be some forgiveness in some instances. Uh, another example I'll give you is you can get a quarter percent reduction if you have automatic drafts on your payment, quarter percent on your interest rate. So there's some things again where that communication is key. Now there is what's called an on ramp. Over the next 12 months, if you don't make your payment, there is no adverse action in terms of credit uh, reporting or collection activity that can happen, but don't use that as your scapegoat because that's creating a problem. The interest is still accruing, the payments are still due, so definitely have that communication with your servicer to have a plan to, to get this back on track. Because some people may want that kind of head in the sand mentality of, well, for three years I didn't have to deal with it. Maybe I can just keep on going that way. That is not a good idea, especially with student loans, because they can be treated a little differently with grace periods, but also with the repercussions if you don't pay this debt. Yes, for example, student loans are one of the items that uh, is rarely uh, permissible to dismiss it in a bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful understanding that this is something that has to be paid. And with that, I'll transition to scams. Definitely beware of scam artists. The Department of Education and it's uh, studentaid.gov slash restart is your best resource for information. Do not trust third parties that say they can get your payment terms adjusted or forgiven. It's a scam. They're probably trying to steal your identity or make money off of you for a service that they're not equipped to deliver. And maybe even not a scam necessarily, but there are businesses who will say, oh, I'll help you out with this. I'll yes. fill out the paperwork and you pay them that fee. You don't have to do that. There are services available for free to do that for you. That's right. The Department of Education, again, studentaid.gov slash restart. That is your best resource for information. Go directly to your servicer. Work with them. There are programs in place to help you with your payments if you're having trouble and if you need to have a payment adjusted um, relative to what your income is, that's the best route to go. And you've given us wonderful free advice this morning, too. So, Dion, we appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Thank and you. if you do need more information about repaying your student loan, you can visit the website right there on your screen. It is studentaid.gov. That is through the U.S. Department of Education. And it will bring you everything that you need to know.